Welcome, I'm Mac of Manx, Manx Writer and today we'll be covering really the the Muds Market Review which is basically the uh, 23rd of March so let's let's really cover it. Now the Muds Market Review is basically, uh, well I, I can't, Venti uh, Mud has got hold of some new gear from various past events for, for this means that Anything in the mud store is considered old, and there's already a lot of views when it originally launched. I will review given the 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 items given that the status is now a is as now as a C star item, which costs more than the some of the other stuff. This is the past uh, given compared to the past availability. So, what's for sale? Well. There's ten items. That's right, ten items really. No, that's more than ten items, but ten that we well, at least now there's we've got one ship, a four piece ground set and a unique bridge officer sold all sold individually. The bridge the ground set is itself in itself. They're all terran themed and the, and they bit they all and previous event items. They all date back to sometime during during the the year of twenty twenty two. There are now s seven dreadnoughts and two epic Phoenix tokens in the in the choice slash mega pack, uh, which launches tw on the twenty eighth of March. You can see it on the right. So let's cover the formal limited time event items. Previously only available for three weeks, now available forever. <laughs> the first of all is the holographic Marshall Janeway Bridge Officer. Like most hologra hero holograms, her appearance can't be changed. This is based on the mirror universe of Catherine Janeway, as seen in Red Shift, Blue Shift, and the Fujiwara effect. She has far great ground traits with a un with with one of them being the unique assimilate dead, turning many dead foes in onto our sides. We got the four piece Kumaki set, Kumaki visionary ground set, aka Pink Lightning. We've got that set. You you you'll see that later when we uh, show off, show stuff off. And then there's a Terran Somerville scout ship, which is what which I'll cover again later. So, Marshall Janeway, a holographic Marshall Janeway size bridge officer. She, uh, she she uses she is a she's a science bridge officer with a with a command specialization out of the, out of the box. So Starfleet and Klingon variants actually have one different trait that affects her behaviour. Basically, it's, and both of them are relatively minor as well. A similar trick that triggers on the death of, of a foe, which which causes a recently dead foe to swap to out to revive and swap to our side, to your plate captain's side, and attack your foes. I'm not particularly keen on particularly. Key, Really good at getting it working because it, I don't know how it was only triggering once or twice, and I rarely got much footage of it in action. Plus, you do, I would recommend changing out her gear because her gear is basically the exact same as the standard bridge, just standard weak bridge officer. All right, as you see, I shoot this dashing and it goes down, and in a few seconds, the uh, Jeremy. Brings out banana pubs and well, that basically all I got managed to get. And he's now standing up and now attacking. It'll pop in his frame in a few seconds. But I'm more interested in taking down the dream dagger coming in. And there, this the bug dashing it is. 
Command key visionary set. This is a this is this is a weapon, a shield, armor, and kit module. What you're seeing is the, is the promo promo shot of the original originals the, of the set with with the with that with what she's wearing the wearing a not not full what's wearing a another limited time event outfit which she's in the which is in I think one of the other sea star purchases so anyway this set sit set adds kit performance that makes kit powers trigger be able to be triggered more often. As the emergency shield system like the like the Nicole, the cool's cool set has which is which is particularly decent which is one of the best better sh ground sets that you would want to be carry running. It's got decent power on the ground but it's not not really meta or the best in the best thing you can pick. It's very very visually loud and very flashy. I mean to the point where I'm actually going to have to say right now some of these abilities coming up will be well you may want to look away <laughs> all right you can look up look back now at the Terran Somerville scout ship. This has an extremely flexible bridge officer layout with the, only the science command the bridge officer being required seating in the you know you and and everything else is a universal seat besides the lieutenant commander universe universal command seat. This has five with it with it five five science consoles or five plus plus two if the if you count the two universals when you upgrade it to x2 so you which and as and also as a secondary effect which it allows pretty decent science magic builds considered by quite a few people as a good science torpedo platform and with a six with a with a free free layout i can see why Trait and the console seems rises reasonably well to it, but the he's the outclassed. DB's reacting trait boosts HP when the shields are l below 25%, and it boosts scales off the exotic particle generator. The ironic deflector inversion console sacrifices the shields for attack and will actually hold off the routing for a few seconds before the visual routing will actually trigger. In my opinion, the, the Summerville itself is actually a decent ship, but the trading console are, particularly, are, partic are p not particularly brilliant. So let's see what was coming up on the in the mega choice pack or the mega pack It's coming up soon on the twenty eighth of March. So the mega choice pack. Well, two of the choices you will, will get, get will actually unlock three of three ships instead of one. If you pick want to pick fly the Atlas, you will also get the. Dina and Thorai as well. For the Enterprise J or the Universe, aka the Universe class, you will also get the Dugraf and Velkis as well. The Marianne sadly comes along. The usual alternatives to the, to the truck in choice packs you actually adds a 
adds, adds an extra Phoenix token t to the two, two Phoenix token pack out. You might have seen it earlier. So, the Atlas, the D9, and Thrive. Well, the biggest thing is the uh, is in the Atlas, which is the dynamic power redistributed module, and it's for cat light unlock. It's considered one of the best consoles in the game. The chips are effectively the same with minor set changes. The chip is actually the Isomag consoles have made that console chip actually somewhat better in it than than prior to the Isomags, but. Not considered one of the best. Not considered best in the game, without the, right, without the DPRM. And the c consoles and traits are unique to each ship, so you can mix and match, and get some d different bonuses. Uh, there's the. I've also mentioned that there's one of the items is actually a. Is actually within a few other places which is the the because it's, it's a four piece set and a three piece set which is, is quite expensive the universe the dig the graph and the valkis these ships are huge and before anyone what if anyone, we've actually seen see people do this before but the with a skilled pilot or captain they can actually complete t the which TFO, which is for long while, has had, which actually has the inside section for the ships. They all have the same consoles and traits, so I've managed stat changes. The console supports look can can support local other ships, players, and pets, I believe, by boosting the power levels. And oh look, it's another Enterprise. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that one that is because the because the universe class is is by, uh, is the Enterprise J. So next, so the one of the other ships is uh, sorry the final ship of the lot is the Marion Command Science Dreadnought. It's the newest ship of the pack and well, it's, and the guitar the guitar brick. Uh, Given the way it looks, it is actually a decent science tank. The trait actually boosts up quite a few of the certain science stats up to equivalent of having three different consoles five, up to five times stacks, three to five times. But I'm not, but because but this because this was pretty much in a weird position. A lot of YouTubers actually. Co the cover it and I can't get much of a opinion with with a lot of pa pa players about from a lot of players about it because they didn't have a they just they just was they weren't particularly interested in it or the they just covered it in the his brand new ship. Let's move on to the next one, the Atlas and the the Atlas and the universe probably got a lot different with it because one of the Enterprise and the other other ones they one of the best ships in the game so is the choice show mega pack worth it well yes and no the atlas dprm is actually a very very much hyped console but it's probably making your ship do its job better it can be useful on many builds but that's if you can fit it you, are, you are as a captain can fit it in and this is the cost of whatever you pulled out remo was removed. The universe class is somewhat going to be somewhat popular given it's an enterprise. I mean, if you see how many en versions of the Enterprise D we've got in game, yeah, we've got that many. Both ships, both of the be both sets of three ships are actually actually dated to. 2017, and um, and because I uh, maybe and they maybe actually be yeah, able to buy brand new ships and well, a lot more new ships and packs than I believe, and that's before we 
go into too much detail. The problem is that the choice pack is normally three hundred dollars, and or usually fifty hundred fifty dollars. It can be quite steep for just at most getting eight ships. Yes, you can get up to eight ships if you just pick pick two. F wait, wait, depending on how you, what you pick, the mega packs uh, at what which contains everything, which contains all seven ships plus the plus a pack of two T6 tokens plus ability to get to buy up to four more ships is a more of a serious investment but because it's at 600 dollars for full price or 300 at on sale now big question some of you are going to be asking what I am would I consider buying it? Personally, I'm on the fence. It's more of how I want, how I, how I want to build it. I personally fly, fly, fly the Atlas, which got, which got years ago. So I'm not. It's one of those. Yes, I might want to buy it. And I got you even got some more DPRM consoles due to the way it was. Wait, it was initially released, and I'm planning to uh, plan to rework the build due to the due to partly due to the introduction of the Isomax. Um, I mean, I've, I mean, I can I can afford it due to the fact that I've, I've just been letting my lifetime lifetime vote five hundred zen per month bonus for quite, quite a few years for a year, over a year now so it's not like I'm I, I don't have I don't I can't I can't don't have I can easily afford it so, so yeah this is being Mike Sharp right see you guys next time